This video is brought to you by Morning Brew, a free daily newsletter that delivers the latest business news from Wall Street to Silicon Valley directly to your inbox. Succinct and witty, it makes reading the news a fun way to start the day. Use the link in the description below and sign up for free now. He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. So for this first problem, we're going to be looking at some questions associated with Avogadro's number and the mole. So the first question says, what is the total number of electrons present in 18 milliliters of water? And the second question says, which of the following contains the largest number of molecules? And we have some options here of some different masses of different compounds. So if any of this sounds confusing, go ahead and check out my tutorials on the mole and Avogadro's number and related topics. And when you're ready, give this a try. So for this first question, we want to know the number of electrons that are present in this volume of water. And so we're definitely going to need to do some conversions. Uh, and we really have just one piece of information to work with. So let's just go ahead and put 18 milliliters of water right here. We know we're going to do some conversions with that value. And so the first thing we want to do is probably going to, we, we want to convert this into a mass because from mass, we can get to moles and that's more useful information. So let's go ahead and multiply this by one gram of water over one milliliter of water because we know that water is one gram per milliliter. And so that will essentially convert this into 18 grams of water. And now that we have a mass, we can use the molar mass to convert this to moles. So we're going to go ahead and multiply this by one mole of water over 18 grams of water because we know that uh, the molar mass of water is going to be uh, 16 for oxygen plus uh, one for each hydrogen. So that's two and that's 18 total. And we, we get that from the atomic masses on the periodic table. And it's very important to put 18 grams on the bottom because we want that to cancel with the grams in the one gram of water from the previous fraction. So it definitely has to be that way and not with grams on the top. And so if we do the arithmetic, we end up with one mole of water, which makes sense. We had 18 milliliters, therefore 18 grams. Uh, 18 grams divided by 18 grams is one mole. So we know we have one mole of water, but how, how does that correspond with numbers of electrons? Well, we know that every oxygen atom has eight electrons if it's a neutral atom because it has an atomic number of eight, meaning there are eight protons in the nucleus. And so to be neutral, it must have eight electrons as well. And hydrogen atoms have one electron, and there are two of them. And so we have a total of 10 electrons per water molecule. So if we take our one mole of water, what we can do is multiply by 10 electrons per water molecule, because we just figured out that there are 10 electrons in every water molecule. And now what we can do is multiply by Avogadro's number, because we know that there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd items in a mole, and it doesn't matter what that item is. It could be electrons, could be molecules, could be basketballs. So it's just that that is the definition of a mole. It's uh, that many items. And so we're going to multiply this. We had one mole of water, uh, of water molecules, which means we have 10 moles of electrons times Avogadro's number means we have 6.02 times 10 to the 24 electrons. So that's going to be the answer to the first question. Now let's go ahead and look at this second question. Uh, which of the following contains the largest number of molecules? Well, so let's go ahead and take these masses and we're gonna wanna convert them into moles because moles uh, moles tell us about numbers, right? Mole, a mole is a number. And so the number of moles we have, wh whichever is present with the greatest number of moles will be the one with the largest number of molecules. So let's convert each of these into moles. Let's take water first. We know that water is 18 grams per mole. So every Every 18 grams of water, that is one mole of water. Now we have 36 grams of water, and so that means 36 divided by 18, that is two moles. We have two moles of water. Now looking at carbon monoxide, 
uh, a carbon weighs 12 and oxygen weighs 16. So that is a total of 28 grams per mole. So every 28 grams, that is one mole of carbon monoxide. And we have 28 grams. So that means we have one mole of carbon monoxide. Now moving on to ethyl alcohol or ethanol. If we didn't know, uh, ethyl is CH3CH2. And alcohol refers to the hydroxyl group here, the OH. And so if we add that up, we have one carbon and another carbon, and then we have one oxygen and we have six hydrogens. That all adds up to 46. And so since we have 46 grams, that means we have one mole of ethyl alcohol. And then lastly, looking at nitrogen pentoxide, uh, that's N2O5. So we did need to know the molecular formula for nitrogen pentoxide. We had to be aware that that is N2O5. And then we have to add those up to get the molar mass. So two nitrogen atoms, which are 14 each, and five oxygen atoms, which are 16 each, adds up to 108 grams per mole. Since we have only 54 grams of nitrogen pentoxide, that is only a half a mole. Uh, of that compound. And so we actually don't need to convert these any further. We don't need to get the numbers of the molecules. The moles will suffice uh, because the moles are telling us about numbers. So once again, the, the largest number of moles, that is the largest number of molecules. And therefore, uh, water is present in the greatest number. And the answer is A, 36 grams of water. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.